Hello and welcome to another Gone Electric video. I'm Evan. There's Ruby. I've got a question for you guys. Are any of you interested in seeing more data displayed about your EV battery? If so, I think I've got the toy just for you. So last week I shot a video where I went around town here in Long Beach and in Seal Beach and I tested a bunch of DC fast charging stations. And a problem that occurred throughout testing was that I kept on getting derated, meaning I wasn't getting the amperage sent to my car that I should have given my state of charge and voltage. And the problem was that I didn't 100% know whether it was my EV battery that was at fault or whether it was the dispensers or the chargers that were at fault. And the reason for that is twofold. Is number one, the ID4 doesn't have battery preconditioning, which means there's no way for me to select a charger and then have my car warm up my battery to get to its optimal temperature so that I can charge at an optimal speed once I get to the charger. Now remember that batteries in general want to be warm in order to hit optimal charging speeds. But even if my car did have preconditioning, the ID4 does not display battery temperature, so I still wouldn't actually know for a fact whether my battery was optimal temperature. So I, need, I needed a way to know what my actual battery temperature was so I can gauge whether it's my battery that's at fault for being derated or it's the chargers that are at fault for being derated. So, enter VPeak. Now this little guy by VPeak is an OBD2 dongle. It's a scanner that can connect with your car's computer system so you can get a detailed readout of things that you otherwise might not get displayed within the car. And for me, battery temperature was the main thing that I was concerned with. Now taking it out of the box, this is what we're talking about. It's a really small dongle that plugs uh, with these 16 pins right in below the steering wheel and to the left, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. Um, now this VPeak uh, OBD dongle was about like 40 bucks on Amazon. It's the BLE Plus. I'll put a link for, uh, for it below in the description in case you want to check it out. So let's go inside and plug this thing in and fire it up just to get some basic data started. This is not meant to be a super long video. Okay, so let's take the dongle around here and we'll open up the driver's side door. And basically, we're gonna try to get into right there, right under the steering wheel, right to the left, right below where the headlights are. So let's go look for that port first before we go and plug it in. And I'm hoping that you can see this when I put my phone under here. It's that bright purple 16 pin port. Okay, so now I'm going to take this puppy and get down there, open the door so it might look a little bit fuzzy because we're going to get some light coming in, and let's plug this thing in. There's the port. Looks like I need to turn it the other way, and in we go. And you can see that there's like a little blue light that comes on. Can't tell if that's blue or purple actually. I have trouble with colors. Anyways, it looks like it's in. It's as simple as that. So once you've plugged in the dongle, uh, it's fairly simple, and I'm going to put an image up here of the direction sheet that comes with the OBD2 dongle so that you can kind of follow along step by step to see exactly uh, what I did. So I plugged in the dongle and then according to the directions, it says that you download a car scanner app. Now uh, I have an Apple phone, so I use the app store to download a uh, car scanner app called, I think it's just car scanner ELM OBD2. It's a free app. Um, then the directions say to turn on the car. So uh, on the ID4, that means just simply tapping the brake pedal, and now the ignition's on. Um, then the next thing you do <clears throat> is you go to your Bluetooth settings in your phone. Again, I have an iPhone, and it says that specifically with an, with an iPhone, when you go to your Bluetooth settings, you should see the V peak in the settings for your Bluetooth, uh, for Bluetooth. But specifically for iPhone users, you don't pair it within the Bluetooth settings like you might do for anything else. Like I have an Apple Watch in there, I have an iPad, all that stuff. Um, instead, instead, you just want to confirm that it's there, that your phone is reading it uh, as being available, but you don't want to pair it within the Bluetooth settings. Instead, what it says to do is you open the car scanner app in order to pair, and you connect it through the car scanner app. So that's what we're going to do now, and we'll see. Hopefully it works. Okay, so opening the car scanner app, it brings you to this, this uh, homepage right here. Now I will say that before I started this video, I uh, was walked through some introductory steps in the app. Very easy to do. Essentially, you just select your particular car from a list of cars that are compatible with the car scanner, uh, the car scanner app. 
Um, it took me about one minute to do all that. And then it brought me to this home page. Um, so to connect the ID4, you can see the ID4 right there in that list of connection profiles. Uh, and again, I selected the ID4 from a long list. There's lots of other cars that are compatible. So to connect the ID4 to the app, the first thing you want to do is tap Bluetooth LE. It is preset on Wi-Fi, but we want to select Bluetooth LE. And then you're going to see this little prompt. Would a uh, car scanner would like to use Bluetooth? You're going to tap OK. Uh, then you'll be brought to this list of available Bluetooth devices. And you're going to select VPeak at the top there. Once you do that, it'll bring you back to the app's Bluetooth menu where you'll see Bluetooth LE now with the check mark next to it. Um, if you tap next, it'll uh, put up a prompt that says it's connecting to the ELM 327V peak dongle via Bluetooth. So there it is in yellow there connecting. And then boom, that took about five seconds, I'd say, to connect. And then it uh, will actually read out as connected uh, on the ELM connection there at the bottom. And you're going to have this home page where all the icons now are uh, all in blue instead of gray, which is what they were at first before it was actually connected. Looking at all the gauges on the home page, you can kind of see some interesting stuff and you can note all the data that you can pull from this home page. Um, you can look at state of charge. Now it says that my state of charge is uh, a bit over 38%. And that is true. I look at my, ga my uh, gauge cluster and I'm at 39%. So that seems pretty accurate. Um, it says that my voltage is around 350 volts. Uh, and one of the biggest reasons that I got this, uh, this uh, OBD dongle and car scanner app is because uh, I live in Southern California. It's not a particularly cold climate. It's pretty temperate. But I want to know for sure, or at least not if it's not for sure, I want a much better estimation of whether my car is responsible for being derated or whether chargers are derating my car when I'm charging. And so when you look at the battery temperature on the homepage here, you'll, you'll see that it's basically min and max between 60 and a half and 61 and a half. And at the inlet, it's about 60.8 degrees. And this is in Fahrenheit. Um, and the interesting thing about that is that the ID4 runs on what's called the MEB platform, and uh, the thermal management system is always trying to keep the cells, the battery cells, at about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. So right now, we're a decent amount below 77 degrees Fahrenheit, rolling, rolling around basically 61 degrees. So if I were to charge right now, it would be interesting to see what charging speed I'd be getting. Now, right now, my state of charge is far too high to do that test, um, but that will be coming up. So stay tuned for future tests that we're going to do around town at EVgo and Electrify America and ChargePoint, uh, where we're now able to tell what my battery temperature is every time I stop and charge. So we'll have a better estimation now whether uh, when we're being derated, is the derating coming from the battery being maybe a bit too cool, uh, or is it coming from something within the dispenser or charger being just dysfunctional? The VPeak OBD2 dongle and car scanner app, highly recommend getting it. All right, see you guys. Yeah.